New World 1.9.1 is here and there's some interesting fixes as well as it kicking off rabbit season. Those pesky rabbits. Let's jump in, show you what we've got. You can see this is patch 1.9.1 and it kicks off tomorrow basically it's actually tonight if you're pacific time but for europe for example it's first thing tomorrow morning and that's when the rabbit event will begin we're not going to talk about it too much just know that you have until april 25th before it ends and you pretty much need to kill up to 400 rabbits if you do that you've got all the good stuff the skin that we see here and the chest now this patch actually includes a couple of fixes so for world experience it has these updated the point of interest restrictions to ensure players can complete weaver's weave don't really know too much about that one i do know that some people have been struggling to complete the main story quest in one of the new uh, updated quest lines. I don't know if that's that, but hopefully it is. Fixed an issue that caused players to not receive the Curse of Kier Dune quest rewards upon completion. Again, same thing there. Fixed an issue that caused free camera to not deactivate after releasing its corresponding key left alt when entering expedition game modes or fast traveling. I sort of have the opposite issue to this. I have it where sometimes I will press left alt and I still can't look around, which is very weird when you're getting chased and you really need to see somebody behind you. But okay, sounds good. Expeditions, they have fixed a rare issue that prevented players from defeating the Imperium Forge boss. I don't think that's a skill issue. I don't know what that issue was. I've never actually seen people say that they couldn't finish it because it was like just not dying, but hopefully that's fixed. Now this next one I've definitely seen and experienced. I'm pretty sure it got me killed over my 50 hour stream. Fixed an issue that caused some of the Commander Mauritius's volcanic eruptions to hit the players well beyond the visual edge. Yes, so basically if you don't know in that last fight there are some volcanoes that spring up out of the floor and even if you're not like actually touching it or looking like you're touching it, you are still getting hit by it. Very annoying. They have apparently fixed that, so that's good. The next thing they probably need to do is look at the ball. The ball AOE, the red circle that comes down, does not match the area that you get hit by, which it sort of feels like it should. They fixed an exploit for the Empyrean Forge quest, a toy maker's request, and reactivated it. I don't know what this exploit was. If the exploit was that you could do it multiple times, then I don't get it because you can normally do some quests multiple times. I don't know what it is. I mean, fair enough, we'll find out what it is when it goes live. Economy, progression, and gear. There's some very important and very interesting changes here. Some some items received unintended attribute perks in the previous update. Effective items will be re-rolled as part of this change. Some may even become legendary. So basically, if you don't know, some war gear and invasion gear, I think primarily invasion gear, it was rolling with like double stats as a perk. So instead of having three perks and normal stats, it would maybe have two perks and then two lots of stats, so maybe like 30 strength and 30 strength. Obviously, that's a bit dumb. Interesting that they're actually fixing that because sometimes they just leave it when it's broke. Remove several potential rewards from the season's furniture gift chest loot pool obtained from the season pass track, the free track. Now, is that because it was too strong? I don't really know. We'll have to see what they've removed. I'm guessing there's probably some very expensive items that they don't want people to have, maybe. Fixed an issue that prevented juniper bags from dropping. Well, that's going to be interesting because you're not going to get them anymore. You're going to get them from the rabbits, I think. So not really sure why, but hopefully once the rabbit season ends, then, you know, that actually drops. Fixed a naming issue with the Empyrean gauntlets. Don't really know that too much off the top of my head. Fixed an issue that caused refining resources to not properly count the full amount. I'm hoping that's to do with the season thing, where basically if it tells you to refine 50 tier 5 materials, if you craft 50 at one time, it just counts as one. Whereas if you do it individually, it counts as like one at each time. So very annoying bug hopefully that's what that fixes i think it is fixed an issue that prevented some dice working on some skins all right fair enough not really bothered there for weapons they fixed an issue on the ice gauntlet that caused the ice pile on ability to get stuck on cooldown yeah some people told me about that i was having the issue where actually i couldn't quite cast all of my abilities they were sort of semi casting either way like they fixed one of them at least and they've changed the perk thwart encounter back to sturdy on the cold stone ice gauntlet i, I don't know how important that is it doesn't sound overly relevant to me for pv arena they have fixed an issue that prevented players from changing equipment while in the arena spectator box. I hadn't tried to do that, but fair enough, that sounds annoying. They fixed an issue that caused the flame core harder journey task to not properly count each crafted item. That sounds really annoying. Probably using the flame core forge or something, I'm guessing. I actually don't know what that task is, but good, it's fixed. Fixed an issue that caused camp skin previews to not appear in the store. Hadn't checked it, but fair enough. The default new world music now plays on the main menu. Literally don't care, but okay. So for me, one of the main fixes here is really just this where they're actually going to change this double stat 
like thing i don't think there's too many people with it but it's nice to know that they're getting fixed this could be important for some people i don't really know too much about it but it sounds interesting obviously the juniper bag berries that will become relevant just in like two weeks time rather than now and for the people doing empyrean forge i do think that this one is actually quite important it really sucks get like dying to that thing when it's not really your fault i have a couple of issues with that fight mainly the Borg as I said that's one of the issues I also really don't like when the boss is facing one direction and he does a melee attack it seems people who are behind him are getting hit and that's just absolutely crazy to me we've seen that in a few bosses and I think they really somehow need to change that it makes melee on that fight really hard and as I said I saw a couple of people complaining about the main quest being broke and they were literally unable to complete it I'm hoping <laughs> that that's what that here fixes i don't know for certain and of course with this patch we are going to be killing corrupted rabbits that's just good fun for all the family i think anyway patch is coming tomorrow or tonight depending on where you are in the world let me know your thoughts about it big shout out to my youtube members and patreons if you want to come follow me over on twitch i should be streaming tonight actually won't be killing bunnies because they're not live tonight but we'll be doing something something really fun i bet other than that guys have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye